Hello, I'm Elizabeth from the blog The Money Files and today I want to be talking about planning cost management. It's one of the processes from the PIMBOK guide and it's pretty critical for managing your project finances. So it's a good idea to get sorted around what that actually involves. As with all of the PIMBOK guide processes, uh, we are looking at inputs, outputs and the tools and techniques that you will need to get the job done. So let's start with the inputs. There are three three inputs to your project, uh, the planning cost management process. And the first is your project management plan. Now your cost management plan is a sub plan of the overall project management plan. So you'll be looking at how your existing plans will all come together to allow you to manage those financial pieces. So you're putting together a sub plan in here and you're using the information from your project management plan to help you do that. Secondly, your input and input is the project charter now that should include a high level statement of what the budget was at the time that the charter was put together and fingers crossed the person who put that charter together gave you lots of leeway because you're bound to have more information now than you did have at the time that the charter was put together so like i say it's, it's a when you look at it you'll get a, a feel for how realistic that charter number was and if it wasn't what you're going to have to do about it to reforecast uh, that, that number based on all the detailed planning that you do during this process. Your third input to the process is the enterprise factors, enterprise environmental factors and the organisational process assets. These crop up time and time again in the PIMBOK guide and they really relate to how your company does business. So you're looking for things like currency exchange rates, what software is available to you to help you manage the budget what your finance team expects you to do at certain points along, along the journey, what your senior management team's appetite is for spending and for, for handling cost, um, the cost of resources in your area, the market conditions, the industry conditions where you are that might have an effect on how you plan the project financials. The tools and techniques for this process are pretty easy. I think uh, you've got expert judgment, which is basically applying your professional skills and the skills of the subject matter experts that you work with to the problems that you're facing. So you'll be talking to finance people, to subject matter experts and maybe your PMO as well to bring their expert judgment to to bring to bear on the processes that you're putting in place. You can use some analytical techniques. That's a really broad topic that, that basically boils down to whatever you, you feel is appropriate. Um, and they are really around how you decide that where, how your project is being funded and the best approach for doing that funding. It's not really as complicated as it sounds. It's the kind of thing that you might have come across already if you're doing make or buy decisions. That's pretty much it. That falls into this, into this bucket here. Uh, thirdly, your next tool and technique is meetings. I mean, that's that's pretty obvious. You can sit down and have meetings. You probably are very competent at doing that already. And working together, you can you can get to the information that you need for the cost management processes. The output of all of this work from the planning cost management process is the cost management plan. It's a sub plan of your overall project plan, and the it's the end result of all of the discussions. The, the meetings, the analysis that you've done, it sets out how you're going to apply the processes and principles necessary for managing your budget on this project. It details any assumptions that you've made based on your, the expert input that you've had and any key decisions that you've put together so far. For example, the results of your analysis, are you going to make a product, are you going to buy it and where are you going to get, going to get the funding from? And also it includes the timescales for the project, which you'll use um, you'll use information from the project charter and the project management plan to, to input to that. So that's been a whistle-stop tour of the cost management process, planning cost management process within the PIMBOK guide. I hope that's been helpful. There are plenty more project management videos on my YouTube channel, so check out Autoboss Group on YouTube and uh, take a look.